It's fall. As you can see here, I did not plan any of this. These leaves came down today. When I woke up this morning, it was 20 degrees outside. So I figured today we could talk a little bit about what we did to prepare for our first freeze of the year. Um, we considered this a hard freeze, which means like if you had plants or anything outside, they're gone. <laughs> um, they are like flower pots, whatever, uh, they're gone. Amber left one of her flower pots out last night. And as you can see here, there's nothing much left of it. So, so let's talk a little bit about how we prepared for our first freeze of the year. Now, when you have a mobile home, um, it's really not that different uh, preparing for the first hard freeze as if you were to have like a site built home. Uh, but the only real difference is possible plumbing concerns and skirting and the underbelly of the mobile home. So our water heater is located on the outside of our mobile home. Um, there's a lot of older mobile homes where this is the case. Uh, more um, recently built manufactured houses will have them inside the house, uh, just like a site built home. A lot of those are usually in the garage, um, somewhere where there's good ventilation. So if your water heater is on the outside of your manufactured home, you definitely want to check all of the pipe insulation. Pipe insulation has two sticky sides that will stick together. So when you wrap it around, they meet, the, the seal will meet and it will seal together. Um, make sure it's all intact. Make sure no wasps or any other critters have gotten in there. Make sure there's no you know, nests or anything else inside that, that closet, the water closet, because you don't want to have anything in there. So inspect for that and inspect the insulation. Make sure it's intact. If it is not intact, replace it. Um, we went ahead and replaced it and we also double wrapped it at the joints and where it goes down to, under, to the underbelly. Um, so that's the other thing about manufactured houses to remember when you're prepping for the first freeze You a lot of times it's good to get underneath and check the underbelly of the manufactured house You have that vapor barrier there that water barrier that's protecting the insulation and protecting the plumbing um, That's running throughout the manufactured house. You want to make sure that that's intact make sure it's not ripped down Make sure there's no uh, nothing that's getting up in there um, You know, that's it's really important to check that um, you wanna make sure that that vapor barrier is intact um, because if it's not and the pipes are exposed, obviously they could freeze and they could burst. You wanna make sure that the vapor barrier is intact because if it's not and the pipes are exposed to the elements, they could freeze, they could burst. You don't want that. So do your best to check that insulation and make sure that it's all good to go and it's sealed up, good to go. So the obvious other difference in a manufactured house is the skirting. The skirting is what the lower, you know, one sixth of the manufactured house, it, it's covering all of the underbelly, it's covering the axles that should have been removed, it's covering everything that's on the perimeter underneath the home. It's preventing critters and other, you know, animals and other things from getting underneath the home and establishing a residence. You don't want anything to, to make a home underneath it. Walk around the perimeter and check all of the skirting, make sure that there's no holes that have been dug underneath. Uh, make sure that the skirting is completely intact and it's sealed up and it's good to go. Um, if you do find spots that have been, you know, holes that have been dug, fill them in. Um, if you find areas that need to be replaced, you know, replace them. By protecting the skirting of your manufactured house, you are protecting the underbelly of it, which is vital to extending its life as long as possible. We want our homes to survive as long as they can, so we have to do our best to uh, upkeep them and maintain them. So. Check the skirting, make sure it's all intact. If anything's not there, replace it. If there's holes, fill them in. Um, if there are holes, when you're underneath inspecting the underbelly, really do a good job inspecting for uh, possible, you know, animals that could be underneath there. Um, if there are, call your local exterminator if you're not comfortable with removing them, but they need to be removed. Um, do not let an animal establish a home underneath there. Uh, we do not want that. They could get into the pipes, they could get into the insulation, and they could compromise 
all of it. They could compromise all of our hard work, all of your hard work in making sure your mobile home lasts as long as possible. Some optional things you could do like we do is we clean all of our air ducts out um, and, because we like to have them fresh when the, we start kicking a lot of heat through them. Um, we also clean our chimney. If you have a wood burning fireplace and you have any, any kind of creosol up inside there, don't set your fires with that. I have had several friends who have had creosol fires in their fireplaces up in the top of the chimney. And I mean, you can see flames shooting out the top of their chimneys. One of their neighbors even had one happen and their house pretty much burned to the ground this last winter. So really inspect the fireplace. If you're not comfortable doing it, you don't have the tools, just call some local people in your area, get some good price quotes. If you want to have your air ducts clean too, a lot of times they'll bundle them together or they'll throw one or the other in for free. So just do your homework, do your best to uh, get the best deal you can if someone else is going to do it for you. Also, if you have an older manufactured house, uh, really inspect um, your HVAC system if you have one. Get in there, get all the dust off if there's dust on there, uh, really clean it out. Make sure you're replacing your filters, do all of that stuff because proper maintenance on that will also extend the life of it. There is a lot of wind right now. As you can see, the leaves are just coming down like crazy. Um, it's also like 45 degrees outside, I'm getting cold. Like I said, a manufactured house really is not that different from a site built home when it comes to winter prep prepping for that first hard cold freeze. Just like with a site built home, if you've got outside faucets, obviously you wanna insulate them, cover them. If you live in a manufactured house or a site built home or anything, really do your due diligence in inspecting the home. Walk around the outside and, and really do a good job inspecting it, okay? Because when winter hits, things are gonna try to get where, where it's warm. So do a good job, inspect it well. Uh, if there's problems, address them before winter really hits okay make sure you're taking care of your home because your home is going to take care of you so enough of me talking let's get to some outdoor activities one of our favorite things to do in the fall is fire pits we love fire pits so let's get one going and hopefully we'll have a really really beautiful sunset tonight to show you all like this video hit that thumbs up button leave a comment below tell us anything like what are our plans for all these leaves that'll be another video leave a comment tell us something and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button thanks for watching we'll see you guys in the next video